on. And we hope that you will aspire some of the younger uh, athletes to move on and, and be focused and really to their dreams can come true despite the odds and the negative things that may transpire from time to time. The government of Anguilla is very cognizant of the fact that we are short in terms of facilities. And we can assure you that with the, the, the achievements that you have made will give us a, even a little more impetus in terms of going forward. Um, while this is not about uh, what is happening in Anguilla at the moment, I would just like to explain that thus far, we have um, acquired some 17 and a half acres of land for actually an athletic stadium and a number of other things in which we uh, uh, intend to do. And an individual with your performance and what you've done worldwide could only assist in, uh, with the young folks in terms of moving forward. Again, parenting, the will, the desire, and the commitment to be successful, I think uh, should be a beacon for the young athletes in England. Thank you, Minister. And it certainly would be remiss of me if I did not have a word from our Honorable Acting Governor, Mr. Stanley Reed, who from all reports I understand had some quite a bit of athletic progress in his day. <laughs> Governor, <laughs> Acting Governor Reed. Good afternoon, everyone. We won't comment on the acting <laughs> athletic prowess at this stage. Um, I too would like to add my heartiest congratulations to Shara Proctor and what can only be described as an outstanding achievement. Um, I before coming here that you had the weight of a nation on your shoulders at the World Championships, but hearing you speak and recognizing that you're the only person from the Caribbean in it, you had the weight of many nations on your shoulders actually, and you acquitted yourself very well. That obviously could only come from hard work and discipline, and um, we are happy that you were able to see the fruits of that hard work and discipline. I think there are a number of things that Ang Williams um, can thank you for in terms of your achievements. It's brought certain things home to us. And one of those things is that you have brought positive attention to Anguilla. Anguilla is now known by persons who previously would have had no knowledge whatsoever that this little island existed. And they have come, we have come to the attention of such persons in a positive light. We also must thank you, Shara, for affording Anguillians and other persons who make Anguilla their home the opportunity to join with each other in prayer and in hope for the success of one uh, another human being. Because when we heard you were in the finals, that's what we did. Yes, we Banded did. together in the hope that Shara would yes, make a mark did. in the finals, and you did. So we are grateful to you for affording us that opportunity, allowing us to put aside selfishness for a while at the very least, and make sure that we are hoping and praying for somebody's achievements other than our own. Shara, uh, I think from this afternoon you've already realized that with your success comes certain responsibilities. <laughs> Some of them I'm sure you'll be happy to take on board, others you might be a little shy of, but they must all come <laughs> and be taken on board. But one of the responsibilities you also have is that you now must recognize that you have set a standard. Others must be encouraged to achieve that standard, but they'll be looking to you to maintain that standard. <laughs> so your hard work and discipline must continue going forward. Yeah, so we ask that you continue to commit yourself, as you certainly sound like you will do, so as to have other athletes aspire to the achievements that you have managed to bring home to date. I don't think, though, we can do less than recognize the, um, the efforts of those who try to prepare you, both physically and mentally, for the rigors of athletic activities. I think they have we have to recognize them, and I think they can see that they have been justly rewarded in their efforts by their achievements today. So, Shara, I, I simply say again to you, congratulations, and I look forward to hearing and reading about your continued achievements. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Reed, and I think this is where we're going to put a wrap on our special welcome home ceremony for Antwillas and indeed the Caribbean's pride and joy, Miss Shara Proctor, thanking all who participated in this special ceremony here this afternoon.